All right, this is a very cool lesson, very exciting times. We're getting stuck into building the actual pages of your website. So this can get overwhelming, I will say up front, because there's a lot of steps as we go through this video. So I thought I'd articulate it in a picture to start off with. Here you can see on the screen a basic website frame. No, that's just a slide cover. <laughs> this is it here. So this is what we're going to go through in this lesson. So on the left hand side here, you can see there is a big long gray bar that indicates the home page. And what we're going to create is basically uh, three areas on the home page. There'll be more than that, but effectively in terms of the navigation of the page, there'll be three areas. So you've got the gallery, which is the big image up the top, which will scroll automatically through three permanent posts, if you like. These are going to be very, um, very high value posts that give a lot of information and are very useful to people that just might turn up on the site. Um, again, this is not a landing page. So on a landing page, uh, there's only one thing you can do. So this is just for people that just come to our homepage. Someone might have recommended the site or something. We don't really know how they got there. So that's why there's more options. So there's a few options there. Um, but then on the services page, this is where it gets a bit more interesting. The services section rather, in the middle there, it'll basically have uh, three icons, image icons for people to hover over and it'll tell them what that is about. Um, on a mobile phone, it will just have the title straight away. Um, and these are going to be for this Daily Energy HQ website, um, three distinct areas that from some basic surveying, I've worked out that people are interested in, in terms of how to wake up with more energy, how to avoid the afternoon crashes, and how to generally be more energetic. Okay, again, these are just an example of how, you, how I'm segmenting people that are just gonna land on the homepage. So there's gonna be a prompt there, you know, what specifically would you like help with today? And it's one of these three things. Um, and then right down the bottom, we've got blogs and that will link to the most recent articles. So the reason that the three different colors under the services is because we're going to customize the way that we capture the email addresses of people that visit these pages. Because as we learned in the last lesson about the basic autoresponder setup, we want to have a way to take the email address of people that are, that are on our website so that we can follow up with them later on. So the other thing we can do is we can create email capture boxes that are specific to what they're looking for. So I might have a free ebook that I'm giving everybody that comes to the website. However, with the services aspect, because they've already told me what they really want help with, I can send them something more specific to that straight away as well as the book. So we're going to create three new email boxes as well, which allow us to segment our audience as they come through. And then later on, if we decide to run advertising to our site, we might direct them straight to the service pages. So we uh, save that jump. So that's what we're going to build in this lesson. So let's get started. So if you're following on in sequence with this course, you will have already created a home page and a page five. Or... So if you're following along in the sequence of this course, you'll already have created a home page and you'll also have a page specific to whatever your topic is. So in my case, I have a page about five steps to all day energy. This is going to be one of my feature posts or feature pages. It's important to note that this is a page um, working with this theme because of the way that we want it to set up as a slider on the very front page, which I'll explain in a minute. So if you haven't already created that, simply go pages and click add new and then create the page. I've already created it, so I'm going to go in to edit this and talk you through how we're going to build this first template for our subsequent pages for this website build. So within this, we've already got a, a simple summary here. Um, I'm gonna edit this because I've changed what this is going to be. So this first line of So this first line of text on your page is what's going to show up as the summary of the page. So I'm not going to create a lot of content on these pages because the main point here is just to show you how to structure the website. So we're going to have one paragraph or one sentence just so you can see how this shows up on this particular thing. The other thing that's already sitting here from the previous lesson is our email capture form. So this is our generic email capture form for a free book. So what I'm also going to do now is create uh, is create some additional content as to how I want that email capture form to look in terms of what I'm giving so that that duplicates onto the other pages. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Mm -hmm. 
So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to add a row and it's going to be a, a two row. It's going to be uh... So first thing, I'm going to add another row. It's going to be a two column. I'm going to make it uh, slightly skewed to one side. So I'm going to have a picture of the book here and the explanation on this side here. Actually, let's reverse that so we can go right to left. So that way on a mobile, the book will show up first and then the explanation of the subscription. So I go insert that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a widget to that. First, I'm going to put an image one. I'm going to drag this into this box here. And for that image, I'm going to edit that. I'm going to add an image. And upload a new file. I'm going to drag in my book cover. There we go. And then I'm going to add another widget, which is going to be a text widget. Here we go, site origin editor. And then we move this over to where we want it, which is in here and edit this and in this box I'm going to explain uh, what the download is. So this is basically what I'm going to say here. So like what you're reading because they've just read a post of something, right now I'm giving away free copies of my full ebook on how to transform your life through better daily energy. Simply enter your name and email below to get your free copy delivered right to your inbox. And that's that. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger. We're going to make that three like that. And then I'm going to add the, the um, opt-in box. I'm actually going to put it underneath this in the same box. And I'm going to delete this row here. And now we have a look at how that looks. Okay, if I zoom out a bit. There we go. So you can see that's not that fantastic because our alignment's a bit out of whack. So uh, the other way we could do it is to, we can play with that, but I can say, oh, okay, well, look at this. I've got... This lines up here. Maybe I'll just make this a full width down the bottom. So I can go back into my page editor. Just zoom back in so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to move this back underneath. So I'm going to add that row back in as a row one. And I'm going to push this back underneath here. Update. And now let's have a look at how that looks this time. I zoom back out to a normal zoom. Okay, so there you go. So there's my opt-in. Okay. Now it's nothing fancy, I'm just showing you how this works. So there's the book, like what you're reading. Get a free copy of this book, enter your name and email. There it is, bang, right? So this will be at the bottom here. There's, there's my article content here. And here's my feature image, which is the next topic of this video. Oops, one last thing before we progress to the next bit of the lesson here is your privacy policy. Very important you have this added. So we're going to add another widget and I'll show you how to do this underneath that. So immediately under where they're entering their details. So here's our opt-in form code. So under that, we edit this and we put in basically saying that we're not going to share their email and then we have a privacy policy because legally you're required to have a privacy policy if you're going to collect people's email addresses. Now, if you don't have your privacy page yet, then we need to set that up. So we're going to say, I don't have one yet and go done. Update this page as it is. And I'm going to add a new page. For now, it's just going to be a blank page and we're just going to call it privacy. I'm going to publish that as is. So now we have a page called privacy. So now I can go back to my page I'm building my template on. Now I'm actually doing this after the, <laughs> after the creation of the rest of the site. So I added this in. So when you see the rest of the pages being cloned, you won't see this bit underneath, but just do it on yours before you start cloning. So it's going to be sitting underneath all your opt-in boxes. So we edit this. And now where it says privacy policy, we go link and we type in here privacy and it'll find our privacy page. There we go. Settings, you want to open that in a new tab. So if anyone actually does click it, it'll open in a new tab and they don't lose where they were. And done. And update. So now when someone looks at the page, it will look like this with the privacy policy underneath. So if we go back into the editor, you see, I've actually already uploaded a feature image. The way this works on a lot of WordPress themes, so even if you're doing a different theme, is the featured image 
is all it's usually posted up the top you can usually remove it so for example in the theme settings uh, header you can disable that or image um, you can change the settings there but I'm gonna leave it there but the thing that it does is that it, is that it changes the way that your post or your page displays in navigation for example on the sliders so that's why this is saying recommended image size 1350 by 590 because that looks best on the home page slider so I've added that there so if you haven't done that, there'll be nothing there. You simply uh, click on add image and then you upload your file in and then select the image. It's as simple as that. So you want a featured image there and that's it. That's gonna be our page template as we move forward and build out our website now. Oops, again, adding another little amendment to this video. One thing I did not change here is that you'll see on this page, the way that we've built it, there's a sidebar on it, which is something that we only, well, I would suggest you only have on your blog posts depending on the way you want your content to be done. But if you just have a single call to action on someone, on something, you generally just want this to be your page. You may not want all this other distraction over here. So what you can do is in the edit page, while we're here, before we save our first template, is we can go down to layout and change this to no sidebar. And then if we do it that way, our basic page, where we're just gonna have content and an opt-in down the bottom, is going to look like this. If I refresh this page now, our page takes the full width and we just have our opt-in here. And again, with this design here, you might choose to redo it, say, okay, let's push all this over a little bit, make it smaller and put the opt-in directly underneath it. You can change things around as you want. So that's one more thing you could choose to do is save the page before you start cloning as a no sidebar layout page. So let's go ahead and we go back to uh, pages, the pages menu. And we've got five steps to all day energy. Now, because we've added the duplicate post plugin, we can clone this into our next article. And so for me, that's going to be, okay, so here it is here. And I'm going to edit this post page. <laughs> and I'm gonna call it my new one, which is gonna be this. This one's gonna be all about when is your best energy, okay? And so we want to change this as well. There we go. Now, you can see here, we've already got all the information that we had last time. So here's our opt-in information, our opt-in box down here. All that code's still there. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna edit this first line of text. Now this would be actually editing the whole content of your article, but I'm just gonna post in my new summary here and done. And then of course I need to change the featured image. So I'm going to click here to change it. And I'm going to upload a new image file for that. So here's my new image. And then I set that as my featured image. There it is, okay. And that's it. So now I've got a whole nother page done. So I can publish that. And then we're going to do it again. So we go back, click pages here and I'm going to clone this one again. Doesn't matter which one you clone, we're gonna clone the beginning one again. And I'm going to make my third page. So I'll go into edit this page again, and this one is going to be about breakfast. So this one is called how to supercharge your breakfast. Now this post is actually a, an affiliate post because I'm gonna be talking about Organifi, which is the product that we're recommending and that we receive a remuneration for for people who actually purchase the product. So that's the, that's the purpose of this post. Um, I actually do use this stuff, so it is, um, you know, affiliate marketing is a whole other topic, but I don't recommend that you recommend things just for the sake of making money. You really wanna stand behind what you're doing, otherwise you will run out of clients and, um, your reputation will be shot. Okay, so how to supercharge your breakfast and then I'm going to then uh, change this one as well. Supercharge breakfast. So you can even just call this whatever you want. You don't have to copy that exactly. So that's a, an easier URL, supercharge breakfast. And I'm going to edit that first line again. Okay, which is an article about the breakfast of the super energetic. There we go, done. And you can see here again, I've still got on my opt-in box down the bottom here. Now, 
for this page, I might change this to be something more specific or I might want to remove it because I just want the single call to action, as in what I'm asking people to do, just to be to go and read about Organifi. So I might choose to remove this from this page. In fact, let's do that just for demonstration. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm not going to talk about my book on this page. So I can do this by deleting these or I can click this little button here and click delete row. Yes, I'm sure. And I can click delete. There. Oop. And then down here, I could add in an image for my uh, Organifi. So we can do that. So we go add uh, image. There it is. And then we're going to add in an image here. So I'm going to add in my banner here for Organifi and simply add that. I'm going to make that full size. Add that in there. And then the what I need to add is a link to the image. So we can do that in here as well. Edit image and the link to a custom URL and then in here is where I paste my affiliate link. And then if someone clicks that link and decides to purchase that product then there's the sale and any subsequent sales of the product is credited to my affiliate account. In advanced options I'm also going to change this to open link in a new tab. So the page on my website is still there in another tab so they can come back to that easily rather than just sending them away from the website. So we're going to update that and that is done. And the last thing, of course, is the featured image. So we need to change that. So we're going to click on here to edit that, upload a new file, and there we go. And then we publish that one as well. And so now we've got our three gallery pages. So if you remember back to that diagram, our gallery, we had three different articles or pages that showed on there. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up now. So we go back into our um, dashboard. And in appearance, we go to customize. And for our homepage sections or featured slider, I think it is, yes, slider options. Nope, not there. Let's go back. So that's what we've done. There it is slider type, static front page only. Featured pages is what we want. We want to have three number of slides. And we're going to refresh this, and we should have three now. Homepage sections, whoop, featured slider, slider type, there it is, one, two, three. So five steps to all day energy. Okay, now you can see here that we've got a, a problem here that the text of the second box is now showing up as well. So we need to look at how to fix that. Feature page two is going to be the when is your best energy. And you can see the image will change here as well when we scroll through. And feature page three is going to be how to supercharge your breakfast. Okay, so here we go. So now we have this slider that automatically changes through about when is your best energy, how to supercharge your breakfast, and five steps to all day energy. So they just scroll through at the top. So the next area we're going to talk about is the services area. So this is where we're going to end up with three animated buttons specific to the type of help that we want to give people when they're looking for something specific. So we're going to save and publish this to get out of this. Actually, just before we do go on, remember this problem here about like what you're reading showing up here. So I've fixed this here in this first page by adjusting what the text says. So it's going to cut out after a certain number of words and now we've changed it. So it says without changing your diet or exercise dot, 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 because that dot, 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 dot is actually the rest of the article is behind that. So these are, this is an example of how you need to sort of experiment with things to get it looking the way that you want it to look, I guess. So there's our sliders, one, two, three, and I can go through and I'll do something similar with the following pages. So I get rid of that, like what your da 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 on those ones there. On when is your best energy and how to supercharge your breakfast. Now that one, the article's not even there, so we only have that first line anyway. So let's get straight on to the services area. So the way we're gonna start this off is just like before, we're gonna start duplicating pages because we're going to have opt-in boxes there. But remember, we're going to give away that book, but we're going to replace the opt-in box with one that tells us to send them something specific about what they were reading as well. Because that's, you know, this surprise customization will tell people like, oh, hey, this person's actually giving me something of what I was interested in. Even if they don't realize that what happened, that they were on a page about that, this uh, customization of how you talk to people is everything nowadays because there's so much information online. People are subscribing to this, that, left, right, and center. So if you can give them something that, that they are specifically interested in, that is where you start to make a breakthrough with your communication. So let's go through to all pages and I'll show you how to set this up. 
First one is to create a new page. We're going to clone this all day energy post. And this one is going to be all about waking up with energy. Because of the way the buttons work on this particular theme, we're going to call this page the actual statement that we want people to be telling us they want help with. So to explain this, I'm going to show you. It's got, I want to wake up with energy. Because we're going to ask them, what do you want most? So some person, I want to wake up with energy. That's what this page is going to be called. However, I'm going to call the actual URL here. It's going to be called wake up energized. That's just something to call the page. Okay. Now the article here is going to be called, it's just going to be an article on night and morning routines is what this is going to be about. So I'm not going to create the full content here. I'm just going to put a prompt in here. Now this page, it doesn't really matter what's up here for the moment because the way we're displaying it, this summary won't actually show up. So article on night and morning Oop. routines. And we're going to leave the opt-in as it was. However, later on we would come back and we'd replace this code with the custom code of our new list, which is segmenting people who are interested in morning energy, as opposed to our other two groups, which is general energy and afternoon energy. And the other thing we're going to change is the feature image, absolutely. So this is going to be the background of our button. So this one, we don't actually have a recommended image size because I know the buttons are going to be they need to be a, almost a square so they can actually fit in the title of what I've said, I want to wake up with energy. I'm using an image size of 1000 by 800 pixels and I'm going to drag that in now. There it is, 1000 by 800, I'm going to set that as my featured image. And done, I'm going to publish that page. And at this point you probably want to check that this is coming out how you want it to look. So before we go and duplicate the other service options, we're going to go back into the customization area and in the homepage sections, this area which is called services, we can change that. So the title is, what would you most like help with right now? So we go and there's our dot 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 dot, there we go. We're going to have three columns, it's just going to be three blocks. Page one is going to be, I want to wake up with energy. And then we can see here, here's our post, there's our button. So we've got a nice rectangle button that fits our title in it nicely. I want to wake up with energy. And if you had this on a mobile phone, that would already show like this. So these hover systems are pretty cool with this theme because it does make the site somewhat interactive. Things are happening, it's keeping people's attention. Um, but it also works really well on a mobile as well. So I think that's fine. So I'm going to be happy with that. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to go back into my page editor and we're going to create two more pages. So I'm going to go back to pages and I'm going to duplicate my I want to wake up with energy. So I'm going to clone that. And this next one, here it is here. I'm going to edit this page. This one is about the afternoon energy. So this one is I want to stop having energy crashes. Now typically that's the afternoon, which is what we'll be talking about with it. But we're going to call it that because that's a more general statement that someone might say. And we're going to call it energy crash. There we go. And this one here is a prompter to remind me. This is an article on natural pick me ups. Okay, and I'll talk about a few things there about, you know, naps, essential oils, a few other things to give us daily energy throughout the day without giving a crash, which is what we get when we perk ourselves up on sugar and caffeine and things like that. There we go, and I'm still gonna keep this box. This is where I would customize my capture form to the one that talks specifically about energy crashes, as well as getting the free book. And I'm gonna change my feature image. So I'm gonna click here, upload a new file, and I'm gonna grab my image about avoiding the afternoon crashes, or the crashes. So here we've got a picture, if I remember. Here we go, here's the dude having an afternoon crash as he's doing the washing. There we go, and I will publish that. And then we're going to do the same thing and we're going to create a third page. If I go back to pages, I'll find my energy crashes. I'm going to clone that one. We'll edit this one. This one is going to be about just being more energetic. So I want to whoop, be more energetic. So this captures people that may not be jumping all up and down about the first two options, but most people wouldn't turn this one down. I want to be more energetic. Jetic. <laughs> there we go. And we're going to call this one Be More Energetic in here. Okay, so that's just the URL of how it looks. 
And this one is going to be about why daily purpose is the key to unlocking your best energy. Right, so there's an article and some content about why we're actually, what we're doing and what we're focused on of the day is actually what keeps us energized throughout the day rather than, you know, exercise, nutrition. These are all important things, but why this can actually, you know, make the most significant change, I believe, and I've certainly found, um, regardless of all the other stuff that you're doing. So that's what that page is going to be about. And again, we'll have, a, we'll have a custom code we'd put in here to put them on the right list so we know this was someone who was interested in general well-being or being more energetic generally. They didn't click on the afternoon or the morning energy pages. And we're going to change the feature image as well. So we're going to drag our new one in here. There we go. And publish the page. So now we've got our three segmentation pages as well. So we can go back into our appearance customize. And then in here in the homepage sections, services, we've now got page two is going to be stop having afternoon energy crashes. And page three is going to be, I wanna be more energetic. There we go. So you can see here's our options of what people might want help with. Bang, bang, bang. Save that. And the last thing we need to build is just our first blog post. So what it's, this is where it changes to a post. So we're going to go into post. We're going to add a new post. Okay, and we're going to call this daily purpose, which is similar content to the energetic thing anyway, but we're going to say this is going to be our first uh, post. It's going to be daily purpose. We're going to add a new category. This is where our categories come in. So this is going to be daily energy. We're going to call this category, which is sort of a catch-all for a website about daily energy, but that's fine. That's our category. And then we publish the post. So there we are. So with your post, the same thing, because you've got your site origin plugin, you don't have to just do text in here. You can go to your page builder here and add things in. So the other thing to do with your post is to change potentially the layout of it. Because if we have a look at this one here, we'll just put in, uh, we'll put in some text for you actually, so you can see where it would work. So we're gonna add a row. We just want a single row. Add a widget. We add our text, so rich text text editor that's when we add in and we're going to edit that and we're going to say article on daily purpose this is a blog post right so we know and we can have a look at how that looks okay so remember this is not a page it's a post so this is where we get our sidebar coming in as we've got comments and we've got recent posts down the side. So we've got a series, people can easily navigate to that. So we've all still got uncategorized here, so we wanna get rid of that. But you can see how this varies from a page. Um, we'll have our post here and it looks quite different. So now we go back to, the purpose of doing this is so we can go back to our customize, go back to our dashboard. And in our customize the appearance, the last one was recent works. So we're going to go down, homepage sections, latest news, we're gonna call this latest, whoop, we're gonna call it recent posts, or latest posts, sounds a bit more exciting. Latest posts, we've only got one, so it doesn't matter what we pick here. Um, we don't have to select a category, but I'm gonna say I just want my daily energy posts showing up here. And we can see there's no image because we didn't apply a feature image. So we're going to save and publish it anyway. Oh, we've actually got a whole section here we don't need as well. So we're going to go to manage sections. And we're going to turn off this one, which is called the portfolio. Okay, so we just have our services, which is our segmentation and our latest posts. There we go. Right, we're going to fix up our article here. We're going to add in an image. Get out of this. Back into our posts. And in here, daily purpose. Also, we're gonna get rid of this one here while we're here, we can just trash that. There we go, daily purpose, we can edit this and we're going to add in 
Now it's not going to be a slider, so it doesn't have to be that size. I'm going to say it's going to be similar to that button. So I'm going to set a featured image and I'm just going to choose uh, this one here for now because I know that was a square image. And update that. Now ideally you're going to have an image which is different to one on your website because you'll notice on the home page now when we go back to our home, Here's the same picture of what we're going to see down here in latest post, so daily purpose. So you can see a nice little animation there, a date as to when it was, and that's why we use that as our latest posts. So that is how you're going to build out your very basic site. One more thing, because now you can see we've got all this garbage up the top in the menu. I will show you how to fix that. We simply go into menus, because we haven't actually added one, so it's just putting a default thing up there. So we're going to call this one main menu. So you're in edit menus, just go menu name, create menu. Display location, we're going to make that the primary menu. And all we want to show on that is the home button. So once you've clicked the home button and any other pages you want to display, click add to menu. Okay, then we'll show up over here. Now you can also add sub things. So for example, if you wanted this page in added to the menu, you can add it underneath as a sub menu. So that creates that effect where you hover over a menu item, it shows up underneath. Um, but we don't want that, so we're going to remove this page. Okay, so for now we just have the home page on it. So we're going to save the menu. And now when we visit the site on any of the pages, you'll see at the top we don't have all the other pages, we just have the home button. So it doesn't matter where you go on the site. So we could navigate through to this breakfast one, for example. And up the top we've got the home button just there. So that is how you create a very basic frame for your homepage using this theme so that we've got some depth to the, to the site in terms of this slider at the top and a bit of a segmentation services here about what people are actually looking for. And then our latest post will feature down the bottom underneath that. So very basic setup here. Um, now we also, we probably don't want this showing up on this page. So the way to fix that again is we're going to go back into our dashboard. So remembering that this home page, whilst it has that theme specific stuff about the slider and the services and the blog posts, it's still built on a page which sits underneath all that stuff. So if we go into all pages and we have a look at our home page here, uh, we can fix that. We just edit the page and we can either add more content that we want to show underneath all that theme stuff. But in particular, we didn't want all the sidebars. So we go right down the bottom and then we can choose the layout to be no sidebar and update that. And now when we go back to visit our homepage, we have a look. All we see is the top sliders and they'll animate every few seconds by themselves. And you can change that in your customized theme again. And as we scroll down, we've also got our services, which we've changed to what would you like help with, our latest blog posts, and then the page just ends, so we don't have anything under it. But this area down here is where with the site origin builder, the drag and drop builder, you would add other stuff to your homepage as you wanted to. So there's a really basic setup to getting your site up and running. So I'm not saying it's gonna look exactly like this, but you've got some depth to the site in terms of an animated slider at the top, making it look quite modern and providing a lot of value to people up front. And we've got, what would people like help with most in terms of segmentation, which is a more modern way of communicating with just blank visitors to your site, actually asking them what do they want. And so we can capture their email and start communicating to them in a way that's relevant to what they came there in the first place. And then our latest posts down the bottom. So that's a very basic start to getting your website up and running.